So, hello and welcome back to another playthrough of Euro Stars 4. We're of course making a play, uh, doing a playthrough of uh, Under Night Fantasy mods. And from our last Rob Hole, we once again have a very clear winner. And I'm actually not surprised by that, because it's a Shrek meme. <laughs> of course people like it. But we're gonna play as Maimo. So, let's jump into the game and talk about the other nations of the Straw Pole real quick. Alright, so like always, I'm gonna put down a straw poll into the description where you can decide on what the, the next playthrough is gonna be. We of course have the reoccur uh, reoccurring votes as well. Uh, M Chaos. I'm actually not sure which one of that was, M Chaos. I immediately got it right. M Chaos, uh, uh, the, uh, the runeborn who trade and have mercenaries and slaves and then more mercenaries. It's basically how it was like the, the thing he was described like they uh, get mercenaries and then they have to pay their mercenaries with slave trade and then they use the mercenaries to uh, make their slave trade better. But yeah, they are a choice. We have Angoya again. Basically uh, another flavor of Asgarde, just less elvy, elvish, but still accepting elvish, of course. We have, uh, of course, uh, uh, where is it? Beggarstone. I actually can't remember what Beggarston, what jumps into Beggarston, but Beggarston over here forming as a uh, sh versus Shining Circle, then turning into Beggarston. All about Becca, <coughs> the goddess that is. The two uh, other nations that are gonna be there for be voted for is gonna be Klafanor, who are all about free trade, and uh, basically because they are in this uh, decent position, they do like a synchronized. Syncretized fate, faith between Regent Court and uh, 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 Sun Cult, which looks very interesting. And the other nation that is going to be uh, as a choice is Viagok. Slave, traders, gnolls, raiders, corsairs. A different flavor of mix, basically. <laughs> I mean, mix spawns from here yeah, anyway, so yeah. But yeah, those are the five nations that are going to be in the straw poll. Let's go for over again. M Chaos, Fangoya. Grafanoa, Viagog and Beggarstone. The, the straw poll is in the description. But, of course, today we are gonna play as Myanmar. The most mouth ogres. A changed mission tree, as far as, uh, I mean, I have not taken much looks at it, but uh, I remember the last mission tree being very difficult. <laughs> Either way, Myanmar doesn't have much to say insignificant. There's also not much to say about the Feast of the uh, Gods, unless of course we're in-game. And then, yeah, there's nothing special here. And technically speaking, all of this doesn't matter to us, <laughs> mainly. So, what's up with Myamore? Myamore has taken this Serpent's Veil vale region that has been flooded and said, hey, this is pretty cool. Because there is the flooded uh, uh, province modifier, which technically penalizes this uh, area. But not us. We don't care. We like uh, uh, we like that. <laughs> we are big fans of this area. So, we have Shrak in charge. I know. There's nothing to be said about uh, uh, about that. We have Farkle and Floria. If you are aware of the Shra of the Shrek lore, you know what this means <laughs> as well. These are his children. <laughs> anyway. So, we are ogres. We are monstrous, we, are, we have all of the Dwarder stuff as well. We are mainly focused on... Uh, I mean, we can do goods. We are not very diplomatic on or anything. We get the goods produced, we get liberty cell reduction. We, 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 we easily find out who, <laughs> who is buying on us. I mean, I, I guess that makes sense. But far more importantly, military. We are, well, once again, shock-focused. We have less troops than usual. We have basically no need for cavalry at all. We are very much infantry shock focused. We don't. We can't reform our government because we are ogres. We have this religious reform. Uh, we have religious reform, which is basically the uh, say it. I forget it. <laughs> no, this is uh, Essex. There we go. We are hungry. We, our hunger goes upwards, basically like Doom. The way we reduce hunger, we need to win battles, occupy provinces, 
and we need to eat our uh, the uh, rulers and heirs of our subjects because we are very hungry. Otherwise, there's nothing else I think to be said about this one here now. Our economy is surprisingly good. <laughs> I guess we do need it. Far more importantly, we are fairly uh, we are behind on tech, but not much further behind than the usual uh, stuff. We do get another uh, unrest reduction, which makes this pretty excessive, right? Do we not have like uh, we have minus six? Oh wow! <laughs> I mean, I guess it doesn't matter at the moment because we don't have much stuff that can be unresty, but. We will see what other stuff we'll have here. Uh, we of course have the usual stuff. I mean, once again we're running around the Serpent Spine. I assume that these guys want to demonsterize, I'm not sure. But yeah, otherwise this is all very simple. Our religion also doesn't really do much here. It just has the morale damage and supply stuff. Which is quite interesting, because we are technically ogres, we don't really have that many troops. But luckily enough, we also now finally get a Dvadova Claimer modifier. This is something that has that has uh, had uh, was a struggle in the past with this uh, with the Maimor. because they didn't get that uh, uh, back in the day, which is well interesting. Uh, either way, we're gonna turn on all of the modifiers. I'm currently wondering if I should even go for. I think I'm gonna go for uh, uh, coexisting. That. Probably is healthier for us. Or is it? The question is, does it make sense to get to these guys fast or slowly? We have quite the... Uh, uh, we do need to punch this up, of course. To fig uh, to uh, uh, match their strength. We also need to do this. But we have nothing else to do with our troops. And stopping to pay them also makes no sense. Because they don't cost anything. So I think we're just gonna take the... Uh, so we're gonna take the speed up. Uh, we're also gonna do this. Just so that we can finance all of this fun stuff. We can send you guys over here. We don't have a leader. I don't think that we are gonna be much of a match at the moment. Let's at least punch up to a force limit. This is probably gonna throw us into the minus. Probably. Yeah, when the rest of the guys come around, I assume that we are under minus. We can't really def anything up to change that. So I guess we'll just have to live with a few loans for a while. Probably should put this army here. Instead. Are you kidding me? <laughs> we, we didn't even do anything! Fuck you, game! That's just unnecessary. That's just the game being a dick. I mean, I wonder if uh, it makes sense to wait for uh, the thingy. I mean, this is still slow. Oh, right, I completely forgot what we want to do here. Uh, we need to make the Monster Stripe loyal. Well, I guess we need to wait for that. We need money and own this province. Yes. We need to def you up. And we need the racial focus of goblins. Hold on a second. Goblins, racial focus, sure. I mean, it costs me Diplo, but why not? If we need a thingy anyway. And this needs to be 15. All right. I guess, I guess we are going to try to do this as fast as possible. Because it's also going to do decent things to our economy. I mean, this expensive. Let's not forget that. I mean, I guess turning on this stuff behind there did make this more expensive. Yeah, I don't want to spend military because we probably need military. Oh, well, there we reveal this. I mean, maybe making this... What does this even give us? Oh, this gives us global settle increase? Oh yeah, I should have probably not done that. Seize land. Uh, we, we're gonna do this to speed things up. Oh, we're very far away from that. I'm gonna do this then. So this is gonna probably get fairly heavy. But we will live with that. Yeah, and this is gonna... Oh, wow. This really pumps up our stuff here. 
we want that as fast as possible, actually. No, then, then scratch that. I mean, we, we're gonna go towards the next step anyway. Soon. Then we have that and we get the... Uh, we get support for feudalism, we make goblins more accepted, we get a conquistador, which I guess is also cool. Sure. There we go. The Fern Munchers. What the fuck is that? <laughs> the grand jellied swarms of the Serpent's Vale joined the little things that attack us into, the, into their sloppy deaths. Sloppy deaths. To shallow stands, to short a stride, to frail a frame, only by our size we do reside in our homes undisturbed. Safety or reckless turned food. But the little things had even a uh, little f littler things fluttering among their surviving numbers. For a long time now, these Irkroti or goblins have scampered about on refuse and peed like blighted crocodiles, scavenging from our cozy lives for no most of our bags. Nimble and slick, these little f littler things backed and pleaded our many maws with the simple broken scorecard. Sh goblin! Goblin friend! Our bellies rumbled, but our brains churned. Can food be friends? Or at the very least, supplicants? We granted mercy, a modicum of the, of the peace and quiet we enjoyed, and look at them now. They fear our girth, lord their position in our order as the smallest and weakest, and even call themselves by my new family names. Mouth smashers, poison plate, book on chore. Too many for our intention, we simply refer to these goblins as fern munchers. Just as the mighty giants commanded us to uh, accentuate their greatness, we can do the same to these littler things. In fact, a particularly fearsome goblin, starry-eyed and reverent, yearns to see all ogres in the valley beneath one unstoppable banner. Might we elevate this lowly fermenter into a paragon of the little things? Of course we do. Let's uh, go explore. Right, next thing on the agenda. This all bronze and seven spell are discovered, which is gonna give us uh, something very spicy. Awa. Don't do that. We are not bad. We just look. Respectfully. <laughs> I or I'm if if we're gonna keep up this kind of uh, narrative, I'm go already gonna like this a lot. <laughs> Maybe I should have met a gun for acceptance. Oh well. Let's speed things up. If we have to fight in every second, so be it. Aha! Oh, we do need to. Oh, oh, pfft, that's stupid. Alright. Let me explore these places. The lure of the new world. Uh, sure. Can I have another conquistador? This one is a lot better. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> well, that's just stupid. Ouch. You evil bastards. Ah, don't do that. Don't, don't, do, don't do that. That's just gonna hurt. We need to reinforce clearly, uh... We can all stand here, right? Yeah, just just get some numbers back before we explore this one here. I know this modifier is actually really good. But I am also willing to just wait a second. Now oh, this is gonna have to push this one up. Uh, do I do this? So to finish that mission, so we can get these guys happier faster. I mean, this was the major, so I guess we don't necessarily need it now. So we are gonna turn this off. You cost me far too much money. <laughs> so, let's see what these guys have to offer. Hello, biggins. Just as quickly as they departed, our infernal munchers scampered back into our mighty bog capital. Straining to gain our ear, they shirt their tiny their, their tiny feet carried them around the world entire vale, noting each standing stone, ogre clan, and mi migrating fauna pack. We never thought these Ixorti could travel so far, so quickly and surprisingly so quietly. Then scribing their maps onto bark skin and boulders, we now behold the vastness of the entire valley. So many Skokoli, 
Cos and tribes stuck in their ways, ready for our rule. We need to on only to bring them to heal. We get a bunch of stuff. Far from only 25% development cost reduction, which is very spicy. We could pump up for feudal uh, feudalism if we wanted to. Do I do this? This is expensive to do another colonist right now. But hey, the faster we are, the happier we, are we get. This is stupid. <laughs> this is very expensive. <laughs> Great swarm beast. And we're turning this into livestock. Oh, we're also losing hunger. Fantastic. I mean, we're currently not doing much. Uh, yeah, I was just want I was just wondering, uh, guys, this is not very smart. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. This just gives me another bit of settler. Of yeah, this is speeding things up. Oh, with, with this we punch up our defenses. Okay. This is like the the northern stuff where we also put a uh, thingy, a fort. Oh, look at that. Uh. I don't want to do this. That's bad. I mean, I guess I might as well do this. I assume that we want to have the goblins accepted. Or do we even care? Oh, we don't even care. Well then, I don't give a shit. Uh, we do need to do uh, uh, a thingy here, or do we have something else? We could share spoils. I don't think I want that. No, nope, we're, we're gonna uh, we're gonna finish this up when these guys are happy enough. And we need two years anyway before we can do that. All right, that's acceptable. Just colonize around these guys before they can do anything. I assume that they are decently strong. That is often happening. We also get enough money here. We're not gonna put much time into this, after all. I only have one se uh, uh, one episode today, so I'm gonna probably forget most stuff uh, e anyway. I'm cl glad I actually found this guy, <laughs> Henrik Fortbreaker. That five shock is gonna go miles. Uh, we can't do anything here. Yeah, we just can wait. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Natives. Oh, right, mages. Mages have something, right? Oh, yeah. Match exploration. I mean, it doesn't do much, but it does something. Reduced uprising chance never hurts. There we go. We're gonna take plenty of loans at the beginning. We can have 48. Why not? It's gonna give us a decent inflation, but hey, such is life. Okay. One more year and we can do this. And then also we're gonna have something else pumping up. But I do want to get some points so I can f get you in. We do have this 25% settlement, uh, 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 development cost reduction, settlement. We're also primitives, of course. But maybe we can get you to a point where we are happy. <coughs> Prosperity we're not gonna go for because that will cost us too much. We are gonna keep you active. When exactly was that? Ninth. Okay, that's gonna take a second. We can do this again, but we don't. Evil supplies. Cool. <laughs> oh no, the smugglers doing things. Don't do that. Well, I think it is time that we turn on the thing again. Development cost reduction. Boop. And let's turn this. Finish this. Lovely. Now we just need to wait for that. Oh, you guys actually would be happy. Okay, but I'm gonna do more here. I'm not done yet. This is first, so it's not worth that much. But I feel like I'm gonna have to pump in some stuff here while we have the reduction. So let's get this party started. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, military, I'm not gonna do. We're only gonna do the rest. That is not doing much. <laughs> Understandably so. I want this feudalism in my pocket. Now, I don't want to... I, I am gonna do this one before we... Uh, 
or anything else. This is gonna come around soon as well. Then we have this, get another big global settle increase, which is for 50 years, so it's quite substantial. <coughs> God damn it, natives. Every click, quite funny. Feudalism is coming around, our loads are getting bigger. There we go. Tomorrow, another time, get out of my clan, stay out of my fetid lake, I'm busy growing lichen. A hundred excuses for staying apart, away, disorganized, but no more. The sky-piercing mountains warble with harsh winds, portending great change, at least that is what our chief uh, decrees. Our tribe refuses to stir when we when we bellowed, so they shall jump when we bludgeon their kneecaps, only then can my more sluggish her heart beat. Bringing the veil to heal necessitates aggression and violence, and we aim to bleach, starting with our lazy tribes. Pop. So. This is gonna take a while, but for now we have uh, a nice bonus. We could also do this again, and this again. Yeah. We have enough money for this when it comes around. Then we have our fortification, and we'll just wait for the for these orcish no, for this orcish nonsense to come around, so we can beat them with sticks. That's not happening. <laughs> That's clearly not happening. But I will, will click it anyway. I mean, you should stick around for a while. We have quite a big value for you. One hundred and thirty. Look at that. We are we are pumping. Would have been a lot nicer if we also had uh, uh, this, but that would be probably a bit too much to ask. Maybe also a bit too fast over here. Who knows? You should have claims on those uh, uh, on everything after all, so it doesn't cost me much to integrate this stuff. But we need to stay on our toes. Uh, nope, we extend the loan. I want to keep the money until we have this fort done. How much do we currently need? S 94. We can do that. I guess we prestige is not allowed. There we go. Let's get the goblins accepted. There we go. Excellent. Ogre fortification. Mimos influence inches along the directlet swarms of other score coal clans. And as we move forward, so to have our foes. The province of Shard. To get a major ingress to our core lands, borders of Lumorg, the west mouth, from which the little things pour out. Not just the pliable but industrious goblins, no, the orcs, little tusk ogres with dark skin seeking challenge. The squat, hairy dwarfs pinning for a home long ruined, and the occasional cluster of scaly kobolds lamenting their slain or slumbering dragons. As little as these interlopers can be, the organized bands, vain glo uh, glorious armies, and scattering tribes plague our new ogre settlements in the region. To deter these unknown, unwelcome visitors, Chief Shrug proposes a simple plan. Take a grand trench camouflage with the little things along the shallow marshes in the region, set school coal soldiers to keep watch, and then smash the squishy heads of any foolish enough to traverse the deadly boundary. Only then can our swamps breathe easy. We build a castle. Takes a while. So I think we're not gonna go here, right? I mean, the next thing is uh, uh, must be uh, uh, one of the must be Drew. Almdir, bronze owner, is our neighbor. When our capital needs defensive addict, that is uh, a second. I would rather uh, actually do this first. We do have a ne decent enough push, I would say. Oh, cool! That helps a lot. I mean, this doesn't do much, right? This province itself is uh, rather cheap. But let's quickly do this, and then I think one more. No, two more. I mean, I don't get anything else here, right? That gives me feudalism. I don't think so. So we'll just keep pushing on that until we have feudalism in here. It's going quite well. We can have another dude, lovely. Maybe we should have just open, uh, uh, connected that. I'm not sure how big they are. But I guess this this fort should be available. Yeah, and when these guys are done, we can start this. And then we'll have our thingy here. 
And then we'll see how worried we need to be of these uh, of these threats. But the faster we do all of this, the better. I mean, I guess I could have taken, I could have done this one instead to speed up this uh, uh, thingy here. But at the same time, this one is just uh, as important. Yeah, well, yeah. To do, do be honest, I yeah, I probably should have done that. But in the end, we need everything anyway. So, who cares? To Isengard, to Isengard be ringed, and barred with doors of stone. To Isengard be strong and hard as cold as stone and bare as bone. We go. Hey, Farkless also is a expansionist. Okay, that, that just basically fills this up rather fast, right? I'm not too worried about it then. When you are finished, we can also do this. So this all is going rather simply. We go, we go, we go to war to you. Wait, you get a fort? I thought this place gets a fort. Oh. I mean, I guess that is the same difference. So, feudalism has popped up. How much money do we need? 38. When is this coming around again? I mean, this is... This doesn't matter, right? No. Three years. Do we just loan up for it? I think we just lo uh, loan up for it. We could also do a 1 D-based currency. I think I'm alright with that. But I do want feudalism right away. So we can take this for cheaper. <coughs> Because any tech advantage that we can find is good. So, you guys come over here now. And we are gonna take a look at what these guys have to offer. So, we have to turn on the defensive addict here. But I do think I want to, to not do it right away. I want to see these guys first. This just gives us a, a, a boost. You know what, I might as well just do that. <laughs> of course, and we want that. So, Andrea, you're still building this up, okay. You have 20k and we have the same tech. I think I'll win this fight. Of course, obviously, I want them to run in here. So... Defensiveness. And then we can do that. So the the modifier is permanent. The co half cost commander is going to be rather useful. Let's see. The little orcs with dark skin and tiny tusks cry out from the mountains more issuing challenges without seas. My more hungers to answer but the Naktuki, despite their size, fight tenaciously in, in great and overwhelming charges. How can we battle in that our caverns hungry current against a defensive foe so result on reckless? A squad ogres groans of a plan, let them attack first. Several clan leaders, blinded by hunger and bloodlust, issue protests, but a score call explains further. Let them tire in the muck and break against our capo ta, ta or valley citadel. Then strike when opportune, routing their forces and pursuing the stragglers back into the mountain. Not only will they lead us through the caverns, like fern munchers through the vale, but they'll sustain our warriors with the unknown dark. Chief Shrug finds this prospect of food and conquest delicious. Let's go. Okay, we just need to core that. This doesn't really do any problem as it rises, right? Oh no, it does. It increases costs and... But less d reduces a uh, tough stuff here. Let's do something special. We currently have 20k. They have 20k as well and they have the same tag. I'll fight these guys, fuck you. <laughs> so. I'm, this might be a mistake. But I'm really curious about the results of that. Oh, you guys are slowly but surely dying here. Are you not coming out? Guys? What do you? What leader do you have? I have a better shock general. Are they gonna? I mean, this is gonna drop, of course. 
What if we just run away? Well, that's not what I wanted. This could have been a mistake. Where are you? Where are you going? Why are you not doing anything? Oh! You have a Blackhawk Warband over there! <laughs> uh, we don't want that, of course. I mean, I, I just put this here so I can see what's going on. Are you gonna do anything? Or is, is this really just what you're gonna do? What if I do this? Okay. Let me just quickly take this province here. They're not attacking me or anything? I mean, I, I of course don't want to ca uh, cause a fight here that I cannot... Uh, uh I, I, to be honest, I expected these guys to be a lot more aggressive. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Hmm. I mean, I don't get hurt by this. Do I, do I really just need to run away so they don't see me anymore? What's up with the AI? They are usually far more aggressive. Do, do I just say fuck it and go balls to the walls? And yeah, then they just walk over there again and do this. Wait, this time they actually stepped over here. This might be a good uh, opportunity. I oh, thought I just took attrition. We don't get much uh, uh, ticks back, right? Yeah. This might be a big mistake. Yeah, we, we don't win this. Like, obviously we don't win this. What are you doing? Why are you not doing anything? Explain yourselves! Are you terrified of my swamp or something? Or what's going on? You have plenty more manpower? You are strong? Like, you have literally no reason to not do anything. Uh, sure. Let's get goblins integrated. I'm not even sure if I should keep up the defensive addict, to be honest, if they're not doing jack shit. Nope, you're not going this way. So we, so we don't win the fight with a penalty, obviously. That is something that I could have guessed anyway. Go away. <laughs> Do I literally just wait until we move over there? I mean, we don't get attrition or anything, right? We, uh... Or war exhaustion. Yeah, this is not happening. What the fuck? Okay. okay. This was rather unexpected. This uh, kind of fight. We obviously have to fight this again. They have positioned themselves here. We just eat attrition when we do that. If we run into this, we're gonna get hurt. Yeah. And if we run into this, we're also gonna get hurt. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not sure what to think about that. Uh, think of that. At least we, at least we're colonizing more, right? <laughs> can I get? Okay, I can get a fight uh, uh, like a thingy done here. This is rather awkward now. <laughs> no, not not that much. <laughs> I'm just testing something. Uh, 
When we have the the uh, Dwarder Rock Glamour stuff and everything, so this shouldn't be too bad. We take attrition here, we have manpower. I mean, we, the, the thing is, uh, of course, uh, there is penalties here, but we can do this now. That was intentional. Obviously. <laughs> I was aware of that. <laughs> Coming around soon. But this should give us a decent advantage now. Let's quickly get, we have to fight this here, and then we attack. Right? Yeah. Okay. Like, I, the thing is, like, I remember so vividly how this worked last time, and it didn't leave, definitely didn't work like that. Well, first of all, uh, we're gonna do this. You guys are out. Oh, wait, you, you guys need to actually run over here and then just be done with it. One, two, three. Is this colonized? No, so we don't actually run in there with the thingy. Excellent. We're gonna do this and this. Okay, but yeah, we can end the episode here. So I go with like the Dimension Shenanigans, and I guess see you guys next episode. Bye!